golly. I was 15 when my equipment arrived. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good. OK. <laughs> I'm much, was, bigger, I'm much bigger than you thought, yeah. aren't I? <laughs> I was 40 when it left. <laughs> was, uh, 45 beautiful. now, I think it's coming back again. Yeah. <laughs> there's a for all. There is. Yeah, there is. <laughs> it's great. I said in the, in the introduction that you've, uh, you've been together for a long time, <coughs> right? so 30 oh, years yeah. now. Yeah, you had the operation yesterday. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. Uh, how, young, how young in fact were you? Um, when you went on stage, first of all. On stage? Uh, do you mean professionally or actually right at the beginning? Well, like yeah, yourself. Oh, seven. 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 Yes, I, I used to perform with my father, do a double act uh, in the clubs all over the country. Really? That's what we used to do. Yeah. What were you doing? doing? I mean, what kind of double act was it? I was doing a double <laughs> act. <I was> doing... <laughs> it was a very good double act. It was, it was. I never saw it, but I've heard about it. It was very nice. <laughs> do a bit. Well, what used to happen was that I used to do a club with, with his dad, you know. <laughs> this is very sensible and very dear to me. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> Well, my dad and I used to go around the clubs. What was your name? You used to have a name. Yeah, yeah. We used to well, be called Burt Carson and Kid. Yeah. He was Burt Carson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we used to do this. I used to do hit numbers. Father was a midget, you know. Well, yeah. I, was really, I, I used to do hit numbers like uh, I'm knee deep in daisies, I'm knee deep in daisies, and head on the reason. And I used to do a clog dance. Oh, and the little legs used to go <laughs> all around. <laughs> Just steam and fur with burning. <laughs> it was fabulous. Then we used to do it. Happened on the beach at Bally Bally, mm -hmm. Winter Wonderland, and then we had the big number at the end. My yeah. dad used to put on a white sort of suit, black up, mm. like a mist. And he used to sing, uh, "Little pal." I was on his knee there. Yeah. I was only about that Lying big. Lying down asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I was only about that big, wasn't I? Yes. You've got to say. <laughs> Oh. I, I feed him. Well, why I, not? Why not? <laughs> and he used to sing, Little pal, if daddy goes away, promise that you'll come back some days. And then I used to he didn't sing it like that, yeah, did he? No, I was just shortening a bit. Oh, I think it's boring. Oh, he used to do nine and a half choruses. <laughs> And then I said, if someday I should be on a new daddy's knee, don't forget about me, little pal. And that's like, yeah. great. Fantastic. Then drop him and run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was the, the, up the back of my jacket that was sitting. <laughs> can, can you match that as an experience when you first started? No, my dad's a tall fella. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I started off, I started off on uh, amateur concerts. I started off at Miss Hunter's dancing class over the plaza. At Morecambe, and um, with, I used to live at Christie Avenue, you see, at number 43, and our Peggy, she used to live at 23 Christie Avenue, and um, she came down to be about 1937, uh, and she said, uh, Sadie, that's my mother's name, Sadie. Sadie, and she said, Sadie, Auntie Sadie, she used to call her, because she, you know, she liked her, <laughs> and she said, Auntie Sadie, I'm going to dancing class, so my mother said, how much is it, and uh, our Peggy said, it's a shilling, so she said, well, do us a favour, take him with you. Yes. You know, keep him out of the way on Saturday mornings. And I used to go, I was the only boy there. Yes. Yeah. Seriously. Then I had private lessons. <laughs> <laughs> well, I ended up as the only girl there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should go his hair long then. They were never sure, were they? No, no, yeah. I can't go, I can't go what out was, long now. What was the first time that you met then? What? Oh, wait a minute. I, <laughs> yesterday morning, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yes. <laughs> I wish you'd introduce us. I don't know who he is. Where did we first meet now? Was it? Uh, uh, yeah, well, my that's... audition. Uh, yes, that's your... right. I saw, you, I saw him give his audition. I won a Lancashire, it was called a Lancashire and Cheshire contest yes. in uh, Hoylake. Yes, that's right. Just outside of uh, Liverpool, where when we worked with Glenda Jackson, funnily enough, she comes from Hoylake. Yeah, that's mm. right. Quickly. I, and, uh, <laughs> that's right, it was at Manchester, you gave an audition to Jackie. And I won this competition, yes, and the first prize was an audition in front, no money, just an audition. Yes, in that's front, right. That yeah. was the first prize, and he went yeah. which I that. gave, and he was with Hilton at the time. And uh, he saw my audition. Yes. But and what did you do? Do you remember you had the chop out oh, the back? Oh, well, well, I did the. Uh, oh, I did really? double acts in those days, didn't I? It was yes. uh, Flanagan and Allen. I used to do. Mm. <laughs> Flanagan and Allen. He did yeah. on his own, but by yeah. himself. Yes. Yeah. How you do that? I have false legs. <laughs> <laughs> True. No. <laughs> I used to put this battered top hat on and sing. Ah, there he, they are. Okay. I used to get that one, yeah. I used to do that a lot. Yeah. I still do, yeah. <laughs> it's a gift, that is. And then you started what well, started the act together, and what, what, what clubs and things, was it? Uh, well, we have worked clubs together, but not yes. a lot, really. No, we didn't work not work clubs together. Clubs, not the first act we did, uh, we started in Youth Tech Shabar, you see, with Brian Mickey, and we were both doing singles. I was doing uh, a single act. I used to do uh, Run, Rabbit, Run. I was all sophisticated then. I had a straw hat and white coat. I'd 
Oh, I hadn't told you about the comedy image. I had a comedy image before that where I wore a bowl hat and a little tash and everything like that. Mm. But uh, then I was uh, doing this sort of sophisticated act and I met Eric in uh, Swansea, actually, yeah. didn't I? Mm. And uh, I was doing what they call a, a, a droll. I was a droll comic in those yeah. days. I used to sing a song called I'm Not All There. <laughs> well, I, He's still doing it. <laughs> I hated it, really, you know, because I would, I'd be, what, 13, 14, 15. I hated actually singing that particular song because I had to dress up. I had a, the beret, the kiss curl, the big glasses, and a lollipop, uh, a cut-down coat with a, a, a big pin, short trousers, red socks, and suspenders. It was basically a, a northern idea in those days of comedy, I presume. Yes. You know. yes. The interesting point about that was that I had exactly the same outfit, more mm. or less But he wore it outside, which was ridiculous. <laughs> 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 But the funny part about it, we had something in common. We both had a very big pin about that size, yes. a big safety pin that used to yes. test the jacket. Yeah. Yeah. What about, what about the other acts who were going around at that time? Were there sort of, do you have any memories of them at all? Or other Clapman Dwyer? On the yes. bill. Clapman Dwyer? Well, that's, well, the double acts, we've got our double act from. That's yeah. where Excuse we me, can I do yeah. that? Do I, I stopped talking. <laughs> no, 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 no. I wasn't doing business. No, oh, you're not. No, 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 I'm going to have one. Hmm? It's probably neat gin, I should think, is it? No. It's all right. Uh, the other act, well, we used to work with other acts on the bill. There used to be. <laughs> Water. Moon. <laughs> Moon and Bentley. Moon and Bentley. There used to be an act called Moon and Bentley. Which was Georgie Moon. Georgie Moon. And Dick Bentley. Dick Bentley. Uh, uh. And they used to do a double act. Great act. They, they were very funny. Very marvellous. Funny. And we used to uh, emulate. Is that the word? On the side of the stage, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> we used to emulate. How, how much emulating did you do? Oh, a lot. <laughs> Between 12 and 17, I'll never stop. <laughs> <laughs> Was that before or after you got the equipment? <laughs> Instead of. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> I've got a small arse as well, you <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who were the um, influences though, on, on, your, on your career when you were young? Uh, what about we, movies? Oh, yeah, Lowell and Hardy. Lowell and Hardy. Uh, I mean, marvelous. Yes, well, if, honestly, I'm talk perfectly serious. If you, if you do analyse what we do at all, you will see, I think, I see a, a tremendous amount of Lowell and Hardy. I used to watch Lowell and Hardy when I was a kid. And, and Stan, not Stan, the other fellow, Babe, um, Babe. Oliver, Oliver. Oliver Hardy. Uh, he, he was the first one ever to use a camera. Yeah, that's right. He always looked, which, uh, can you give me number three? That's the one. He always used to go like that. Straight in a, 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 a cinema audience, you know, mm. which is fabulous. And yes. you're not allowed to do it now. Yeah. You know, they, they say, we, we tried to do it in some films, didn't we? Yes, they did. They wouldn't let us do it. Let us do it. Yeah. To yeah. bring so the audience, well, you know, wound the camera in. Really. Oh, wouldn't go on. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we... Uh, those two, Lowell and Hardy, and Abbott of course, Costello. Abbott and Costello influenced us greatly, to such an extent that we had American accents. Oh, yeah? Really? Yeah, we yeah. used to perform with American accents. I'm waiting for him to lose his. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, it's great to be here, you know. Woo! I've got records, seriously, I've got records at home, yeah. Bernie and I, in early uh, broadcasts, in, around about 1940, 41, yeah. uh, where we are, Abbott and Costello, where we go. Yeah. Uh, I'm a bad yeah. boy. And do all that. I listen to him now. I colour up. Yeah. <laughs> On my own, I, I blush. And he's going now. What are you going to do, Morkham? What are you going, Morkham? I you called know. him. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do now, Morkham? Yeah. Yeah. You can't get away with that. You know, I've all this about. But we did, though, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> I don't think they know what we're talking about. You know, Abbott and Costello. We're no. getting a bit old. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was the first time you got to the the West End? That was before the war, wasn't it? You got the, was uh, the strike. Bernie did, and it was there before the war. Uh, well, are you going right? Yeah, well, what happened was I gave an audition to Brian Mickey a yeah. long, long time ago, yeah. and uh, I actually went to the Prince's Theatre yeah. uh, and appeared there in the bowler hat and the little tash, you know, yeah. and, uh, and the little cut down suit. Yeah. And uh, then that's it, what during the war, it was about 1940, yeah. we went into Strike and We went Strike and Unite. Ah, with, what, uh, what were you doing there? Sid Field. Sid Field, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. And uh, beautiful girls in that show. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, they used to walk about, them, man. Yeah. So. Naked. Mm. Yeah, yes, 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 it's true. Remember that? Yes. All these beautiful showgirls with black shoes and black gloves. Look like the five of spades walking yes, that's by. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 
I remember George Black said to him, if he didn't blink once, he'd go blind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was in that shot, I thought it were in these. <laughs> That's where I got that from, you yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> they were on the corner. <laughs> and you could look in at the back of the Mapleton Hotel there and, oh, by Joe, there's some things went on, <laughs> really. Oh, those Americans were tearing it down, aren't yeah. they? <laughs> Okay, that's where we learned. That's, yeah, we learned all about it there. Yeah. Didn't we? So, and then you were doing some song and dance as well there, and all that. Well, stuff. yeah, we were well, doing we're glorified. But we, well, you know, glorified. Yeah, we were never quite sure what we were, chorus boys, you know, or a prince. You're not a chorus boy. A chorus, chorus boy. boy. Yeah. Do you know what a chorus boy is? I'll show you. I'll show you a chorus sure. boy. Could we see a mean? chorus boy? A real chorus boy. Show him what a chorus boy. <laughs> Now, you really didn't know about that. No, I did not, no. <laughs> uh, he didn't know when he'd done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me, that's extraordinary. Patrick Moore looks extraordinary, that, doesn't he? Yes, he does, yes. That's yes, yes. we all did. Uh, yes, he's, well, playing, well, <laughs> he's playing pantomime, too, I think, isn't he? Abenaza this year. Who? Like Patrick Moore. He's not, is he? Yeah, make a good Abenaza. <laughs> <laughs> he, left, he left the studio like that and went and bit somebody's neck. <laughs> 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 Tell me, when you were, you were, went, you know, you spent a tremendous long time, didn't you, on the road playing all the, all the theatres and this sort of thing, um, after the war, what, what, what was that like? Was, was it, looking back, was it an enjoyable time or, or what? Well, I mean, it was tough in the first place. Uh, there's different stages of it. You start in the smaller theatres and then you move into the Moss Empires, which was the big thing. But we were always second spot and we had to go on there and register straight away. What about the, uh, the Glasgow theatres? I mean, they got... Oh, no, they were tough. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. They were tough. Oh. Well, uh, somehow, I don't know why, but they had a thing against English comics, didn't they? Yeah, they couldn't understand well, I think we helped them. <laughs> <laughs> I remember once going on there, and we came off to our own footsteps, yeah. and the, the fireman was in the corner, and he said to us, ah, they're getting to like you. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yes, they well, they haven't drawn anything. They haven't drawn anything, yes. <laughs> they, yeah, they, yeah. they sat there. Uh, and there's a system. comic, I won't mention his name, but he fainted, Des O'Connor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I won't mention his name. <laughs> <laughs> he actually walked on and went, well, I just wouldn't. And, and it was shut it off. <laughs> yeah. Did they applaud him? <laughs> <laughs> what a fall, yes. Oh, dear. Anytime you're yeah. feeling lonely. And he was that night. <laughs> That was must, tough. must have been an extraordinary um, area to, to, to learn in, to learn the business in that. I mean, mm. survive that, you survive anything, I should imagine. Well, I suppose so, basically. Well, the windmill yeah. was the same, though. Was it? Oh, oh yeah. yes. Worse. Mm. Worse. I yeah. mean, we followed... Uh... We only lasted a week there. <laughs> <laughs> really? I became a nervous wreck. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did. Tell him the story. <laughs> and let me interrupt to get a few laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Well, first of all, we gave him an audition, Van Damme. Mm. Uh, you know. used to go, what, well, it was known by his initial. Yes. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was known as VD, wasn't it? Yes, it was, yeah. really. It really was. Yes. Yeah. Really? <laughs> really too, yeah. We were quite shocked, weren't we? Yeah. Uh, but it we was. We just laughed, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. And we gave an audition in a little tiny room, about that big. <laughs> and uh, he stood there, you know, and watched us do this, mm. do this performance. So we used to do these little run-across gags. And the pianist played, and we came on and sang the opening song, How's About a Little Ramble in the Moonlight. And then he came across, did these uh, little quickies uh, with an urn on his shoulder, you know, what's a Greek urn? About 30 bob a week. About 30 bob a week. Yes. And uh, some more. He, he was flabbergasted, and he booked us. There's a man outside with a funny face. Go, Go tell, tell him, him you've got, got one. one. <laughs> <laughs> the, invisible, the invisible man's outside. Tell him I can't see him. Yes. Yeah. You should do all that. Yes. Quick, though. <laughs> 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 My dad's got no nose, ask me how he smells. Well, it's terrible. terrible. We're, doing them now. <laughs> We're doing them now. <laughs> we actually used to have a fishing rod. We used to have a, a stick with a bit of string on it, with an apple on the end. Yeah, and and he used to throw it like that, over the orchestra like that. And he used to say, what are you doing? Uh, fishing. Fish. He said, well, you don't catch fish uh, with an apple, you catch fish with a worm. That's all right, the worm's inside the apple. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it took us years to get out of that it stuff, didn't it? it? <laughs> And we used to follow an orgy. You can tell him better than oh, me. Oh, an orgy. Fabulous. An orgy was called. Well, we call it called, an orgy. Well, it's nothing nowadays, you know. No. But we we called it. I'm going bald, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> we called it an orgy. It was a thing called. <laughs> I'll have to get one of them. Yes. <laughs> it was a thing called Lilith. Lilith. But we followed this particular orgy where all the girls strip off and they just stand there and they weren't allowed to move, you know, or anything like that. And then we'd be on the side. 
Clark. <laughs> with his, with setting his, the props. With his props, you know. Yeah. And I'd be on the side, ready to go on. Yeah, yes. not looking, because he's very moral. Yes, mm. very moral. <laughs> On I'd go, singing the opening song. Yeah, and forget the words. <laughs> and, uh, then he'd come on and do the quickest. I, I'd come on and do the quickest. But the audience yeah. then, you see, would all, all fellas yeah. out there, would, as uh, soon as somebody left the front row, would fight. <laughs> yeah, and they'd climb over each Climb over the seat. They got to the front row to get close for the next show, because it was a continuous show, six yes. shows a day. We died, didn't yes, we? Yes. Terrible. <gasps> the opening line was, hello, music lovers. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, <laughs> hello, music lovers. Yeah. But you stood no chance. I no, mean, they were all climbing over the seats, and you'd had it. I mean, they didn't listen to our witty uh, jokes. No. no. I'll tell you who else didn't listen to them either. That was the, the, the television audience the first time we did television. Because I didn't realise, in fact, until I, I looked up the sort of cuttings on you, this yeah. very cruel thing that somebody said about your first television Logan series. Logan Gourley, yes. Was it Logan Gourley? Logan Gourley. Logan said, Gourley, in The People it was, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he said, uh, oh, do, have you got it there? Well, no, well, you say it, you say it nicely. Was it well, no, because mine was Venom. Was what? it? <laughs> Are we getting all bitter and twisted now? Oh, just no, a bit. No, no, it's, it, it's uh, I mean, <laughs> well, I, it, if he looks back at it, he must regret the day he ever said it, because he said television is the box they bore it, they buried Morecambe and Wise in. That's true, yes, huh? yes. I he should said, have said it, you know. Yes. He said, <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said, what's that box in the corner? Is it a television set? He said, no, it's, no, uh, that's it's the, the box, box they, they buried Morecambe and Wise I should have done it. There's yes, no argument about it. With a couple of Another one was, uh... Yeah. Poor old Alma Cogan, she was with us in that show. It says, Alma Cogan stands out like a rose in the, the garden, garden of weeds. <laughs> the other one was, get him off. off. Yeah. <laughs> he was more to the point, wasn't he? <laughs> what, I mean, what was the reason for this? Oh, but very simple. What? It was terrible. <laughs> 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 really, yeah. really, it was oh, terrible. Yeah. I only wish the BBC had kept the tapes, but they, they couldn't afford it then. But I wish they'd have kept them because I'd like to have seen them to see really how. As a matter of fact, quite honestly, they weren't as bad as what people made out. They were only on a fortnight, half hour on a Thursday night. That's right. It? And uh, it was the early stages of television. I'm sure they weren't as bad as all that, but now we've uh, no record of them. And yes. since when? I mean, it's extraordinary. <clears throat> Rise to the top. Rise, which in fact was a. Uh, well, I suppose nearly brought to a premature end four years ago. Today, this very day, day yeah. when yeah. you had your heart yes, attack. Yes, right, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd do anything but a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Oh, you're all right. Oh, you're great. Feeling all right. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going to happen back there with Raquel. <laughs> <laughs> but for a different reason. <laughs> And in a different place. <laughs> <laughs> you nearly fell over the equipment. <laughs> was there, a, I mean, it seems a daft question, but I wonder, was there at all a funny side to it, um, Eric? Well, the illness? Mm. Oh, well, in a way, there was, you know. I, uh, I was at, uh, we were working at this club in Batley. as two waiters. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said, I, I, you know, I got a bit of a twinge in my arm, and I have to say to Ernie, uh, you know, I don't feel too good. I'll I'm go home tonight and... Uh, so I, I, I'll sign the autograph. I, I said, you sign the autograph. You sign the autograph, he said. So, of course, his wife always asked me for his autograph. <laughs> and, uh, She said, you were good tonight. You were good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I would draw home in the car. Thank you. All right. And I draw home in the car. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Let's say you've got a lovely home here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Great, uh, <laughs> and the pain as I was driving home uh, towards Leeds, the pain's got worse and worse up my both arms and across the chest, you know, and I started to come out in the flop sweat and driving along. And I thought, now, funnily enough, I didn't realise, fortunately, it was a heart attack, you see, because had I thought it was a heart attack, I'd have had a heart attack and died. <laughs> Because I always thought, you know, a heart attack was, well, yeah, you're behind you, behind you. <laughs> But it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's just, just uh, like yeah. that at all. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I thought... That's why I walk. <laughs> and, uh, I, I thought, well, I'd better put myself into a hospital, you know. And I was driving the car, it was getting worse. So, it would be about half past one in the morning. And I stopped a fella in, uh, in Leeds. And I said, could you, you know, I don't feel very well. Do you think you could... I had a Jensen in those days. And um, I said, do you, do you feel you could take me to a hospital? I don't feel very well. I'd like to sign myself into a hospital. A fellow called Walter Butterworth. I'll never forget him. It wasn't his real name, but I'll never forget <laughs> him. And uh, he said, yes, oh, I. Hey, you're, uh, 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 
Morton and White. <laughs> and I said, oh, Morton Mor Mor and White, yes. So he said, oh, well, I'll, I'll, I've never driven one of these. Show me the territorials, I've only driven a tank. <laughs> she still does. So he gets in there and the 7,000 quid going, <laughs> <laughs> Up the road. It was me going, me <laughs> me And I got to the stage where I couldn't have cared less, you know. So he takes me to a hospital and it's locked. It's <laughs> true. And there's some French windows and he's going, bing, bing, but on the French windows. But I'm stood at the side of him, like this. And these windows open like that. And a fellow there in braces and uh, a pair of pants. He goes, can't come in here. <coughs> he said, look, what's the behind them? <laughs> can't. So he opens it, a little crack, he said, this isn't a proper hospital. He said, you want the, the one, the main one up the road. So he explained where it was. And he drove me there to this water. And I got out of the car and he ran around. It was up a brew, you know, up a hill. Yeah. And uh, he went in there to try and get me either some uh, form of uh, wheelchair, you know. So he said, five minutes. I'm still waiting. <laughs> so I start to walk. <laughs> up this hill. Quasimodo going up there, you know. <laughs> and I go in there, and he's obviously said to the fellow behind the counter, he said, Eric Morecambe's out there, and he's not very well. Could I have... And the fellow wouldn't let him have a chair, as far as I can make out. So I walked in, and the fellow looked at me, he went, oh, oh, oh yes. <laughs> uh, and he says to all the boils and the cuts and the slashes <laughs> in the corner there, in the outpatient step, like, hey, it is him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which is true, you know. So I say, now, my real name is, is Bartholomew. I never tell anybody that, but my real name is Bartholomew, you see. So it says, you don't look too good, son. I said, no, I'd, I'd like to sign, put myself into a hospital, you see. He said, well, right. Now then. <sighs> name. <laughs> so I thought, well, I, I won't say Bartholomew. I said, Morecambe. He said, all oh, right, Morecambe. Address, which I gave him. Age, which I lied about. <laughs> He said, you don't look too well, you better go lie down on that thing. So I'm lying down on the stretcher there. The next thing I know, I'm being injected. This Walter Butterworth is sat with me. And I said, I I I'd like to say thank you very much for all your help and everything. He said, oh, that's all right. It's my pleasure. He says, my mates won't believe this. <laughs> he says, and this is the exact words he used. He says, will you do us a favor? I said, what? He said, before you go, will you see me? <laughs> <laughs> Four years ago tonight, that. Huh? Yeah. Big story, this uh, relationship you've had over the last 30 years, isn't it? Do, is it? do you have a social relationship outside the professional one at all, uh, Ernie? Well, not really. We, uh, we don't really mix together very much, but we go to balls together and do's, and uh, of course we're working together. We're together so much that... Uh, we we've been don't... together all day today. Yes, yeah, so we don't have TV, a... you know. Mm. So we don't really... Uh, I mean, Eric, as you know, has got his... Uh... What? Oh, football. Oh, football. Luton yes, Town, yes. You know. Luton Town, you know. Oh, are you, uh, you're with Luton you Town. You thought so... it was a brass band, didn't you? Yes, that? I did. <laughs> <laughs> where were we? <laughs> uh, God, lost. We can ask you the same question. Yeah. Yeah. Where were we, in fact? Oh, yes, I know yeah. what I'd ask you about. Mm. Was this thing that people always so say to you, I'm sure, how would you get these personalities onto your show? I mean, your most extraordinary knack you have of persuading the most unlikely people. I mean, one of the things of... Andre Previn, for instance, yes. who came on brilliantly funny, Glenda Jackson and people like this. I mean, how do you manage it? Quite simple, yeah. really. Yes. It's our producer, does it? The producer does it, does John Ammons. John Ammons. He, we say, you'll never get her. <laughs> you'll never get him. He tugs his moustache. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yes. Phone. Rings up and they say yes. Yes. But I mean, but, uh, but ultimately, they've got to say yes and they've got to agree to come on with, uh, with the two of you and they know what they're in for. <laughs> um, well, oh, I, I, you know, they're, they're queuing up now to be insulted. And I mean that in the <laughs> nicest possible way. Quite you know. honestly, though, honestly, we, we, I think they know that we will approach it professionally, we won't let them down, and we'll give them a, a, a good run for their money. Yeah. And I think that's what it is. Yes. Have you ever contemplated uh, mm. splitting up, going your own ways at all? No. Not till tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but how does the relationship work? I mean, I mean who decides what's funny? Who decides that... Well, Ernie does all the business side, the side of yeah. it, and we split the money down the middle, 60-40, because it's very clear. <laughs> <laughs> but you pay less tax. <laughs> well, of course, yeah. yeah. But he gets the 60, I get the 40. Oh, yeah. And what about other comedians? I mean, uh, 
do you, do you have comedians that you look at and you think are very funny that... Yeah. Who, like who? Uh, well, Tommy Cooper, to me, is, is one of the greatest. I agree, I think he's probably yeah, He's a funny mover, yeah. yeah. And uh, one of, the, one of the, 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 the other ones to me, who I feel, is the way I'd like to end up in, in show business, if I could get away, not get away, that's the wrong word, but if I could be like him when I'm his age, that's Arthur Askey. Because yes. I think, to me, he's a gentleman, you know, he's got a wit that I go... He's very quick. You know, oh, it's very quick. Very but quick. I'm more likely to finish up like him because I'm nearer his yeah. size. <laughs> <laughs> but what about, what about the, the people who really make you laugh, though? Uh, well, I agree with Eric. I like Tommy, Tommy Cooper. Cooper. I like funny people, movers, not so much talkers. You yeah. know, I like funny talkers, but I think comedians should be able to move funny as well, yes. besides talk funny. Yes. Yeah, the, 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 the Jacques Tati said that uh, humour mm. begins in the feet. Him. Yes, and well, a good comic has to have good legs. Good I mean legs. that more sincerely. They have to have good legs, yes. you know, because they do a lot of walking about. Uh, if you're in a pantomime, <laughs> yeah, in a pantomime. <laughs> if you're in a pantomime from one o'clock right through till about eleven o'clock at night, and you're on your legs, uh, you need good legs. Yeah, but it's something about the shape of the feet, though. Isn't it? I mean, Tommy Cooper's got yes. this thing. You know, you've got it as well, haven't you? Not, not in my feet. I've got very dainty feet, very pretty. Well, feet. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> do you know he only takes a six? Yes, six only the six and on that, that foot. Yeah. Eleven on the other. <laughs> so it makes up for it, you know. And I'm a. And I'm a six and a half. Yeah. Very tiny feet. Really. Yeah. What about what about movies? Because you've made movies, but they've not been successful by any means, have they? As your, no. As your television not always what we wanted them to be. Does no. he mean films? He means films. films. Yeah. Yes. yes. Movies. Yeah. Yes. Because um, not the blue ones. Oh, the, oh, the the other ones. The yes, other ones. Yes. yes. I like to make movies like this. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, wait, you're doing those root signs again. Look. Yeah. <laughs> this is Pontefract in Yorkshire, the hometown of uh, the great suit of all time, or one of the great suits of all time, the licorice old sort. Point of fact is a monument to the little sweet tooth. For over a hundred years now, the five factories that make licorice all sorts here have had their insatiable demand for licorice supplied by the home growers around here. But no longer is that true. They're now importing their stuff from the licorice from Turkey. Consequently, the industry here has died. This is the positively the last crop of licorice ever to be grown in Point of fact. So that toward the end of the year, no more. This is the end. The, the <laughs> I, that's extraordinary. Where, where do you get that from? Oh, that's we found them. Yeah. <laughs> we find them. Would we you, know where the body's buried. Would you like to make some more movies as well? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We've got a lot of flu grade, that. I don't like I got the lurgy or something like that. It's well, you see what I mean when you just look back. Yeah, that's a it's long time ago. Yeah. But I mean, the thing is, it's a different. Mm. Of course, I mean, that was all done on my feet, you know. I mean, of course, it was. as I went along. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> He's got fear in his eyes. He doesn't know what's going to happen <laughs> next. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what else you got. <clears throat> but what just about. Don't stand up quickly, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got to the photographs yet. <laughs> <laughs> what about making other movies, though? I mean, I, what's, what's the. What's the real problem behind making them that you find? Is words. it a question of suitable yeah. scripts? Yeah, scripts. Yes. Yes. You wonder, I mean, we would like to have made Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Let's yeah. yeah. face it. Or the odd couple. Or yeah. the odd couple. Yeah. We yeah. would. Yeah. I mean, those are the films we would have liked to make, but you can't. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> I met a fellow last. Yeah, I met a fellow last. Does that remind you? No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I still met a fellow in the hotel last week and he said, oh, I always watch your shows, I like you. My friend and I used to say, which, we used to watch you on television and say, I wonder which one of them's bent. He said, that's charming. Yeah. Well, well, you used to, in fact, do this, uh, quite a few scenes in bed together, of course. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, that's a, a, a Lowell and Hardy influence. Yes, it's You see, Hardy. the point is that Lowell and Hardy did it in, in those days mm. and uh, nobody said, oh, well, it's... Uh, you know, effeminate or anything like that. You know, nobody said that in those no, days. No, in those days it was before. They didn't that's... know what it meant. No, <laughs> just two men. Two men used to sleep together in those days yes. years ago. But now it's considered wrong. I that's why know. I don't know whether you've always noticed on the on these particular bed routines. I basically always make it as mannish as possible by smoking a pipe. Boy, <laughs> 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 the earrings well, are just made a queer with a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> you know. The earrings are just accidental. Like yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. oh dear. What about uh, American audiences? Oh, a lot of people are saying that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I like them. I like them because they're over there. Yeah. <laughs> but in fact, you've worked in America. We used to do the Ed Sullivan show. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of Sullivan shows. Yeah. Yeah. We used to do the Ed Sullivan show. He introduced yeah. us as a three-handed act when we did it. Mm. Maury, Camby, and Wise. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Maury, Camby, and Wise. Yeah. 
felt like a seal act. <laughs> Can't be so you've no real, you've no real uh, ambition about, about going over there at all? No, yeah. uh, quite, as far as I'm concerned, what I'd like to do is I want to stay here. I'm very happy here. Yeah. I love it here. We earn money here. Mm. We're stars here, and mm. it's great. If the Americas or the Americans want us they, to go over there, they've got to do it here. Yes. They've got to buy the shows. Buy the shows. Yeah. You see, I won't go over there, and I will not say sidewalk, mm. you know. I will not say garbage. Garbage, that's rubbish, pavement, pavement and rubbish, as far as I'm yeah, concerned. Pavement. You know. It's a classic but I'm not going to go over there. Yeah. I'm just gonna... Except for the money, that's yeah. all. <laughs> I'm just going to take the elevator. Are you? <laughs> I, think, I think you're very right. That's a good one, that. Yeah. I'm going to take the elevator. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, that. Mm. It's lift, you know. Lift, yes. <laughs> well, Joe, Joe, before you go... Uh, oh, are we going? Are we going? <laughs> I did not. I thought he was doing well. Are you worried? <laughs> doing very well. We've been good about an hour and a half. Oh, that's lovely. But uh, take oh, yours out. Just leave us in. We'll be all right. And he's played it smart. We can't ask him for any more money either. Why? Well, you know, they've got this freeze on. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> but what about, um, let's see, two unexplained things, I think, for yes. any fans of yours. Mm. The one is about them two fellows sitting in a deck chair. The two old men in a deck chair. The two old men in a deck chair. Now, now, you must, I mean, have you ever told the joke no. at the end of the joke? No. Until no. The no. And we're not going to, are we? There were two old men sat in deck chairs. One old man said, it's nice out, isn't it? And the other old man says, yes, it is. I think I'll take mine out. <laughs> that is the actual one. Yeah.